Hi everybody, this is Rita and welcome to Bloom Stitch. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you uh, subscribing and if you haven't yet, there's a little subscribe button in the lower right corner, I believe. And um, I wanted to share, a lot. I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys today. Um, I have, I guess I'm not done with the paper dolls yet. So I have lots of ideas. And I have a good stash of the paper dolls, a good a sizable stash. So I have some ideas that I want to do. But um, first, I was going to share a couple more sets. Actually, one of them sold. I didn't even have a chance to do a video about it yet. but And it sold um, overnight. It's a folio and a journal set. So I just, I just wanted to flip through it real quickly just uh, so you guys can see it and this is the front with the lace on the bottom lots of lots of detail going on in here there's the corset a uh, little booklet in here on this flip uh, this open flip here and then this is a vintage wedding dress applique and then opening it up here is the left side with lots of lots of lace and seam binding and that opens up further it's kind of hard to film because it becomes pretty big and there's a tuck spot there and here in the middle we have a tuck spot there's a paper doll here the paper the the base is Tooks craft from Tooks craft table on Etsy just love that dressmaker kit and then here is the corset. I just love how it turned out. This is seam binding lace, various laces, and that's a piece of a tablecloth. So I collage that on this envelope, and then it opens up. Another little collage under it. There's a tag in here. Then we have the corset um, in here in the CD envelope. And this is just a big... Uh, there's a paper clip here and this opens up like that so this folds down this folds up and that's the back oh there's a paper doll in the back sorry <laughs> so that's the set that has sold so thank you very much and then the um, set that I still have that I finished is right here and uh, actually I think this turned out to be one of my favorite sets right here. This is the cover. I put a paper doll on the cover and this, I just love this ruffle that I coffee dyed. Vintage laces. So that's the cover and that opens up. And then we have a little scene here like from a ball. Um, these two beautiful dressed ladies. Tag here and another. This is from Took Scrap Table. And a scrappy notepad here. So this is the front, and then we open it up, and I know I forgot one thing. I need to put uh, something in the CD envelope, which I will do, but here is the left side. Just love the way this, this is a paper doll, that this turned out with the lace and this really silky fabric. And then you open that up further, and let's see if I can get it into the frame. And then we have a couple of different uh, golden um, laces here and appliques on this beautiful dress paper doll dress and then in the middle we have this beautiful bow and a little bit of a duck spot in there a pocket a couple of goodies scrappy notepad again took scrap table that beautiful kit and then on this side i just love how this turned out this uh, corset and then i put this multiple layers of the vintage um, fabrics and uh, this is sorry silk yeah on the top of it and a little pearl and this is a, a flip flip down and then we have a little collage here and then it's a pocket with a tag in there and again I'm gonna be putting something in there at least you don't see it you're surprised what's going in the CD envelope that's been uh, laced up and trimmed up here and then this is an altered paper clip and it just 
folds this down the booklet on the back down and then what comes with it is this little scrappy journal this has a lace applique on the top and it just has blank pages in it just the right size the envelope journal to put in your purse so that's the uh, corset and paper doll set that I have and then I made two and I will be making more just journal covers these are just journal covers paper doll journal covers so and they come they each come with a packet of goodies um, ephemera for you to use and this is the first one so this is a simba no sorry silk here there's a trim laces vintage laces um, doilies and then there's your paper doll in the middle and so this is the base you can use it as a folder if you want just you know stash whatever you want in it or you can sew your signatures in here this is a uh, eight and a half by eleven I believe and the fabric I think it was a vintage tablecloth just beautiful um, that's the base and again it has the packet of goodies with it and then the other one packet of goodies um, with it the other one oops I'm mess, messing this up now sorry it's a quilted one quilted cover this is the inside it's a little bit darker uh, theme and there's a darker dress on the front but it has a lots of lots of light fluffy touches so these are all kind of a shabby chic with the vintage laces this is a beautiful pearl trim and I just love this material it's so soft and just just fluffy it's just so girly just so feminine and then we have the paper doll so yeah this is the uh, quilted one and it will be coming with the goodies and then I wanted to introduce you guys to Rose this is a new fluffy journal I actually have had this done a while ago I just have not done a video about it her name is Rose and look at the it's fully um, embellished I mean when I say fully it means chock full of stuff but this is the cover this is just the cover so much going on here so many different vintage fabrics and laces and trims uh, this is a bingo card that I collaged it on and then put it on a vintage file folder is the uh, cover for this journal and this is a couple of different layers of these are vintage hankies so yeah there's a different vintage hanky there's a couple of different vintage hankies going on here this is our cover <laughs> so let's I, I try not to show every page because it's just I mean look at this it's just way too much going on here but this is the front and it has a lot of lot of lot of stuff that I put in there this is actual um, mini, jour mini journal blank journal in there I just love the edges I love the fluffiness of the different these are hankies and fabrics and then I collaged on the edges uh, this one opens up like that um, all kinds of flips going on this is um, napkin decoupaged and uh, grunged up so and then this one flips out it's part of a um, tablecloth so this is a mixture of grungy and shabby I hand sewn that and then put it in here sewed it in here this is a quilt pocket another little pocket with goodies lots of collaging going on here cute little image of uh, that would be Rose and her brother. And then we have a flip up, a little message under there. And we have this one straddles a page, clipped on there. Yeah, I might do a craft and chat about that. It's kind of pretty easy to make. I love making these. They provide lots of um, interest in a journal. This is just a little page top decoration there more edging uh, guest booklet flip up this one is a secret writing spot here and flip up double flip up this is a coffee dyed um, fabric here 
and then we have more flip ups belly band and just kind of move it along here this one opens up there's a book page pocket with all kinds of stuff in there and this is the back with a envelope with all kinds of goodies in there so this is rose so that's the journal that I wanted to show you and so that's basically all I have for today except I guess I am not quite done with the paper dolls yet because I've decided since I have a good stash of these paper dolls I'm gonna make a big file folder an altered file folder with them so I'm really excited about that that uh, I used to make uh, big file folders and that's what I'm gonna do with the paper dolls it's gonna be a corsets and paper dolls themed big altered file folder so that's my next project and I'm gonna I think still make a few more of these um, uh, journal covers paper dot journal covers if there's an interest for them I will make some more and these should be listed by the time you see this video and so uh, thank you so much you guys have a good rest of your weekend and peace out